Hey everybody, it's Nia Sante. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, um, it, we trying a new restaurant, and it's um Trap Cafe something. Trap City Ti's Cafe. Ti's restaurant. So, um, yeah. All right, so right here is like the foyer, foyer, whatever, however you say it. This is where you walk in. As soon as you walk in through the doors, this is what you see. It's like some writing on the walls, quotes, lyrics from like your favorite rappers and whatnot. And it's all under a blue light kind of. So it's like real cute, real neon glowing type of vibes, you know. And this was during like the holidays. So that's why they still had a Christmas tree up. But I really like that waiting area. The waiting area was really cute. You could look at the stuff on the wall, read it while you wait. That's real cute. We had a party of like seven, eight, and all of our people were there and still ended up having to wait like a clean 30 minutes to be seated. But disclaimer, my family thought this was like a TI restaurant type situation, not a TI restaurant and lounge. So we are kind of biased about our description of this restaurant slash lounge. So bear with us. So as you walk through the doors, this is what you see. Marble flooring, cute little whoop de whoop. Then once you got seated, um, like I said, it's giving lounge vibes. It's barely giving restaurant vibes. It's more so leaning towards the lounge side of things. So I can't even be mad on them about that. But um, yeah, on the walls, you have like pictures of your favorite rappers from, you know, Atlanta and all over the world. And it's um, they have little plaques next to their to their pictures that gives you like a quick brief description on their life, their life in a rap game and um, some of their music, etc. Um, cute little chandeliers, cute little tables. Um, they have a whole bunch of televisions for like the games or whatever you want to watch on the tv or whatever um and yeah so like i said ambiance is real cool real lounge type vibes they had um a seated next to like a section of like girls night out type vibes so they was keeping us entertained while we waited for our food it had to be about 45 minutes to an hour for us to get our food after we placed our order and then even when it when we did get our food it came out in stages so like one person would get a meal then the next person the next person and so on and so forth so i don't really like that i feel like even though you're a lounge that sells food you should still have your food coming out in a timely manner and it should still be warm or hot not warm but hot like not piping hot but it should still be at a good temperature being that it took so long to receive but you know people like to create uh, less restaurants and lounges just to have another money venture you know so that's neither here nor there right here is me trying their appetizer called the money rolls which is egg rolls that come in spring beef or chicken and we got the chicken egg rolls and it came with like a little sauce and they were nine dollars and all in all i'd give it probably like a solid eight out of ten right here i'm just trolling like i normally do because it wouldn't be me if i didn't troll but i was just trolling the wings because it was mad small like as you can see right here they got the sampler the trap star sampler which comes with six wings two salmon sliders two tacos and fries no substitutions but the wings is mad small the wings is mad small the size of my finger as you saw and the sliders barely had any salmon on them for it to even slide like let's be for real so it was just giving skimp it was giving skimp portions for 29 dollars y'all yes 29 dollars for a bite of um salmon on some bread and a wing the size of your thumb although the wings were small they were good in taste so my aunt and uncle rated the sampler platter about a five out of ten right here me and my aunt had ordered the lamb chomp lamb chomp the lamb chomp entree and those is probably what i would go back for like if i was going for like hookah and drinks and lamb chops they got me all day the lamb chops was really really good you can have medium well or well done with two sides for 27 dollars. i had mashed potatoes and mac and my aunt had um mac and collard greens i think um but yes definitely rate the lamb chops uh i give them a, a 8.5 out of 10 
the macaroni and cheese um it wasn't as wet as i would like it i gave the mac and cheese a solid six and a half out of ten and the mashed potatoes was mashed potatoes so i gave that like a seven out of ten they did give us some plasticware to eat our food with which was expected being that it is a lounge so i didn't expect regular silverware to begin with now y'all let's really get into these salmon croquettes please stop playing with me because be so for real like <laughs> i just don't understand what this even was them things was hard as hockey pucks and it was just it looked mad dry my uncle said that it smelled like um bumblebee tuna and it just gave very much do better like it looked like a dry behind salmon cake and it wasn't giving what it's supposed to get clearly you see the man laughing it's not giving what it's supposed to have gave for 16 dollars please do better with the salmon croquettes if y'all go there do not get the salmon cro croquettes i do not recommend i think we give it a, a solid um a solid five out of ten if that Right here we have the clean or dirty alfredo my aunt got it with um the shrimp it could come with either chicken or salmon or shrimp for twenty dollars and if y'all not seeing a pattern um the pattern is expensive for nothing like you're not getting that good of a meal for the prices that they're paying uh, for the prices that they're charging but again we are biased because this is a lounge and this is what you're going to see at a lounge like this is what you're going to see in an in atlanta lounge high prices for low quality food it's some lounges out here that do have good quality food for the prices that they're trying to get you to pay but this one is not one of them um so like i said she got the shrimp uh cleaner dirty alfredo the alfredo we'll rate the alfredo a solid six out of ten it needed salt like it needed seasoning more seasoning and if your meal needs more seasoning then is it really a meal like is it what what are we really eating? here is my mother trying the spinach dip um which was 13 dollars, and she wasn't too mad at it it was just that it took so long to get and then when she got it it was like lukewarm and then it came with like pita chips and not regular chips so she's not used to pita chips so yeah that kind of threw her but she give it a solid mm, six and a half out of ten so my uncle's daughter got the shrimp and grits which you could get sauteed or fried for 24 dollars she did say that she enjoyed it so she probably rated probably like a solid eight eight and a half out of ten and um yeah i probably would agree with the with the shrimp and grits being a, a eight like you can't really go too wrong with shrimp and grits so so far if you go in there, bank on getting the lamb chops, the shrimp and grits, and the money egg rolls. Like, right here is my other uncle. He also got some um, Alfredo, but he got his with salmon instead of shrimp or chicken. And like I said, it costs $20. And for it to cost $20 and be unseasoned, or you need to add your own seasoning from out your purse, it's ridiculous. So, like I said, six and a half out of ten. And you know it's not Trap City Cafe if you don't spot a semi celebrity. Uh, so yeah, we I got Toya, Toya husband on the camera, y'all. Toya husband on the camera. <laughs> so yeah, y'all just came back from Ti Restaurant, and all in all, the restaurant, the ambiance, the food, the waitress, the staff, all that, I give it an overall six. <sighs> I give it an overall six. We had reservations for eight, didn't get seated till like 8.20. Ordered our food. We looked at the menu while we were waiting so that we could hurry up and get our food because we heard that the wait time for the food was gonna be a long time. We ordered our food as soon as we get seated at like 8.30. We did not eat till like 9.15, 9.10, 9.20, and everything came staggered. Like one person would get their meal, then the next person would get their meal 15 minutes later, then 10 minutes later, another meal, 15 minutes later, another meal. Why are we getting appetizers with entrees? Make it make sense. T.I., you're doing stand-up comedian work. You're doing stand-up comedy. These wait times is a, is a joke. 
that's the joke so um yeah y'all all in all i would go there with my friends not my family i would go there with my friends for drinks music egg rolls and lamb chops but that's about it that's about it so yeah <laughs> that's that's all i have to say about that like i give it a six but yeah y'all comment rate share subscribe all that good stuff um yeah subscribe to the channel because if you're not subscribed you're gonna miss the come up and you don't want to miss the come up like you don't want to miss the come up so subscribe and i'll be back with another video because yeah 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 y